How do you know if you have the victim mentality? Number two, you feel powerless. Oh yeah, one of the hardest things to deal with when you live with a victim mentality is feeling helpless. When bad things happen, it's easy to feel like I have no control over the situation. Helpless, I have no control, uh, I'm powerless, that's the victim mentality. All right, what does the Bible, let's counterbalance this with what the Bible says. 1 Corinthians 10 and verse 13, and I'm reading from the Bible basic English, different translation in the King James. It says, you have been put to no test, but such as is common to man. Yeah, now, now that's, you think you're the only one going through this. It's not true. All of our problems, all of our tests, everything that men and women go through, it's common. It's been, there's nothing new under the sun. But, okay, it says, God is true who will not let any test come on you which you are not able to undergo. Okay, this is a promise from God. But he will make with the test a way out of it so that you may be able to go through it. Yeah, now you're going to have to go through it. And that's what we avoid, like the plague, but there is a way out. You're not powerless, is what the Bible is telling you. You do have power, you do have control, and a lot of that power is in trusting God that the outcome, that there is a, a way out, okay? That you're able to go through this. With the test, he will make a way out of it so you will be able to go through it, okay? How do I know if I have the victim mentality? Number three, you engage in negative self-talk. You engage in negative self-talk. Self-doubt uh, is connected to victimhood. Once someone falls in for the victim mentality, they will subconsciously self-sabotage their best efforts so that they are congruent with their conscious mind. So yeah, I mean negative self-talk. Listen to what you think about. Hear what you're telling yourself. Let's counterbalance this with the Bible here, Ephesians 5 and verse 29. For no man ever hate yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, even as the Lord the church. You know, negative self-talk is nothing more than self-hatred. It's hating on yourself. And I really believe that we should view this as a sin, when you're hating on yourself. Because this verse tells us no man ever hated it his own flesh. So if you're hating your own flesh, you're doing the opposite of what the Bible tells you to do. To do. And so that negative self-talk, I read a book, uh, William Backus, Truth Talks, and he said, talks. And he said the average person tells himself 200 lies a day. That's negative self-talk, talk, by the way. You know, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm, I'm no good, I'm this, I'm that. 200 lies a day. Okay, so take back your temple, or your temple is the body that God has given you. Okay, take it back, nourish it, build it up. Don't tear it down, don't tear it to bits and pieces, don't hate it. Hatred, self-hatred is a sin. Okay, how do I know if I have a victim mentality? Number four, you think the world is out to get you. Now this is funny.